Hey guys, hi, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. Oh wait. Alrighty then, today we're gonna be trying out some Pinterest and BuzzNet beauty hacks and some hacks that you guys tweeted me. I've been wanting to try out a lot of these hacks for quite a while, so I figured we'd just get right down to it. I've collected all the things I need for these hacks. I personally don't think that any of them are going to work out, but um, I guess we're gonna find out. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we get started, I forgot to say, um, if I'm doing anything wrong in this video, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments below because maybe that could have changed the outcome. Or if you know of any other beauty hacks that you'd like to see tried, or if you've tried them yourself and they work amazing, then please feel free to let me and everyone else know in the comments. Okay? Okay. All right, so this first beauty hack is extremely important because if you're like me, then you pretty much at least forget one cosmetic item when you pack or go away somewhere or you run out of something. So this is making your own BB cream. So what you're gonna do is take your palettes or your hand or however you wanna do this and grab one of your favorite concealers. Most BB creams have SPF in them, so if you want to be covered there too, just use a moisturizer that has SPF in it already. So what you're gonna do is scoop out a little bit of your concealer or squeeze it out depending on what kind of container it is in, and then you're gonna take your favorite moisturizer and add this to it as well. I actually made a little bit too much here, so I ended up putting it in a little container to use later, but then you're going to mix that up. Once you got that mixed up really well, then you can go ahead and apply it. So let's see how we did here. I use a lot of concealer because I personally like a little bit heavier coverage. So, ooh. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So yeah, that works freaking great for a BB cream. That's like perfect if you wanna go to the gym or whatever that covered nicely, didn't cover too much, and it doesn't look like I have cake face on, but it definitely gave me some extra coverage. So this beauty hack does work. All right, so this hack, uh, somebody tweeted this to me after I posted on Snapchat that I needed uh, some help coming up with some fun beauty hacks or see what you guys wanted to see put to the test. So this includes red lipstick, and I actually had a little bit of darker circles under my eyes today, so I felt like this would be a good time to try this out. So I'm just using a NYX Simply Red lipstick, and supposedly this is supposed to cancel out your dark circles. I don't know how I feel about this hack right now, because lipstick is sometimes, you know, depending on your lipstick, it could be very matte, it could be very oily and shiny, but um, let's try this out. We're gonna put this underneath the eyes, and then put concealer on over top of it and see if it helps with any of these darker areas. I don't know, that's, wow. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, if you don't have any concealer or the right colors to get rid of your dark circles, then maybe, just maybe, you can use your lipstick. Okay, so we're gonna blend this out. Now, since a lot of you know this concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer and see how this covers up. I don't know. I honestly have no idea what this is gonna look like. Leo chewed up my beauty blender, so we're gonna use our finger for this. I feel like this is just gonna mix together and make like a pink concealer. I don't know. All right, so I don't know if the camera's picking this up or not, but I honestly look like a sick person that just um, tried to cover up my pink circles with concealer and it didn't quite work. So I don't, I don't like this hack at all. Um, maybe this would work for someone that has darker skin or maybe I'm a noob and I just put too much red lipstick. Either way, I wouldn't suggest this for someone who's pale. Um, have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this and it's worked for you. Don't think I'll be trying that again, ever. So the next hack is creating a quick and easy smoky eye with something we're all, all very familiar with. The hashtag. So the idea here is to draw a hashtag like so and then blend it out and you will have a quick and easy smoky eye. I don't know. 
So we've got the hashtag on there. Then for, you know, the sake of keeping this simple, say you forgot your, um, your eyeshadow or an eyeshadow brush, which I've actually done before, you can just take this and smudge it out like so. So let's see how this works out. So I would say that actually worked pretty damn well. Let's do it again on the other side. That hack actually worked pretty dang well. That is definitely something I would do if I only had eyeliner and I needed to like glam it up a little bit. So this next hack is something that I'd never thought of before and this is a great idea. If this actually works, my mind is gonna be blown because I've been in this position before and if I had known this or thought of it, then it would have been a genius idea. All right, so this is basically if you forget what we used in the last hack, which is eyeliner. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mascara that you brought, because no one ever forgets their mascara because that's extremely important, right? You're gonna take your mascara, you're gonna dip your, dip your eyeliner brush in your mascara, and you're going to use that as eyeliner. And before we do that, I'm gonna mix actually two hacks with this. A few people tweeted me and asked me to try using tape to create the perfect winged liner to see if that works. So we're gonna put this on our hand so it doesn't remove our BB cream and apply this to the eye area. And I've seen people do this on the top too, which I personally think is overkill, but let's see if it works. So place this where you would want your wing. How's it looking? Good? Okay, so we're gonna take this mascara and just apply this right here and see how this works. And if you need waterproof eyeliner, then you know what to do. Okay, so it appears to have worked. Now let's peel the tape off and finish the eyeliner. All right, so there we go. There's the uh, mascara as eyeliner. So overall, I think this is a great option if you forgot your liner and you need to create a liner. I mean, far from good, good from far. Mascara, I mean, each mascara is different, but this one looks like, you know, you need to really get your wing right while it's still kind of wet. Otherwise it gets a little flaky and cakey and yeah, and I actually really like the tape idea too, um, if you're in a hurry or you just want, I probably personally would just do the one underneath and then kind of just wing, see what I did there? Wing the top. Good on both of these hacks. All right, so this next hack, you are about to learn some new shit right now, because I did today, looking this up. This next hack is for when you have, you just, you've just been lazy, you haven't had enough time to go to the store and get that new mascara, and it is dry, but damn it, you need some mascara on those lashes, all right? I've been there, you've been there, we've all been there. And if you haven't been there, at least you're gonna be prepared when you are there, because you are gonna be there someday. And this is fixing dry mascara. One of the reasons why I wouldn't suggest like using this method all the time is because mascara has a shelf life of about three months because in, you know, in your eye area and using that and putting it back in the tube, you can actually get an eye infection from using expired mascara. And there is a chart that I'm gonna pop on the screen right now to show you guys the um, basically, the lifespan of the makeup in the different categories. I got this from Pop Sugar. Another fun fact that I learned today is see this little bottle on, or like little tub on this makeup, and it says 12M. This has been on makeup, and I've seen this forever, and I never knew what it was, and I never cared to know. But what that means is that 12 months from the time that you open this product, it needs to be tossed. On to the actual hack itself. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to take this dry mascara. As you can see, I picked one that has completely dried up. It is as dry as the fucking desert. So let's see if we can bring this guy back. What you're gonna do is fill up a mug or something with a handle so you don't burn yourself. And you're going to fill this up with water, pop it in the microwave for about a minute, and then you're going to plop your mascara in that and leave it for about a minute to two minutes to warm up, and then pull it out, and it is steaming. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's definitely got more going on there than it did before, so 
there you have it. So I would say that this hack definitely works. I think the idea behind this is that any of the product that's stuck to the sides or the bottom, it melts and it comes down and it pools at the bottom so that you can actually get your mascara wand in there and get some mascara out of it. So yeah, this is definitely uh, revitalized. <laughs> So the next hack has to do with lipstick and we all know how disappointing it is when you break a lipstick and it's broken and you just can't use it anymore, right? Wrong. With this hack, what you're supposed to do is take the end of your lipstick that's broken off and take a lighter or a match or some kind of a flame. You're supposed to melt the tip a little bit, place it back onto the original lipstick and then Take the flame and go around the broken area or the seam and kind of let it melt together. Problem as you can see on the screen here is when I did that, I actually burned my hand with the smoldering hot lipstick lava that came down the lipstick and landed on my finger. That was, uh, that was painful, yeah. I think this hack is stupid. The lipstick look ridiculous after, and I have a feeling that it would probably just break off again if you're, I don't know, it just didn't seem to go on there very well. So instead of doing this and like burning yourself and going through all that madness, what you really should do is just take a container similar to this one, or you can use, um, what people use like you know the Monday through or the Sunday through uh, Saturday pill cases you can open one of those they even sell professional ones specifically for lipstick and I would just scoop it out of there and just shove it in there and you can use it with a brush from now on that is a much better way to go than using flame in your lipstick and like then you burn yourself like I did this was a terrible hack so the very last hack in our list is here, and I think it is one of the most simple, but I never thought of it. So this is basically creating thicker, longer, luscious lashes. If you watched um, uh, my videos for the past month, you definitely saw what happened when I tried to use those uh, fibers that did not go well. It was not my best moment. Pretty much, you just take some baby powder, which pretty I think everyone has baby powder sitting around their house. You use it for oily hair, you can use it for anything. Men put it on their balls. It is probably around, and if it's not, it's definitely the dollar store. You're gonna empty some of that on your palette there and have a Q-tip ready to go. And first you're going to apply your first coat of mascara. So let's go ahead and do that. And while, the mascara that you've applied is still wet. You're gonna take a Q-tip and load up some of that baby powder and you're supposed to put this on your lashes. Um, I'm just gonna like, oh, that split my eye, I think. I am just gonna kinda drop it on here. I'm afraid to put Q-tips on my eyelashes because those fibers could get in your eyes and that is not pleasant. So then, you're gonna put your next coat of mascara on. And I've used this mascara before, so I know what it looks like without the powder and with, so there it is. This hack is fucking stupid. I want a refund on this baby powder. This is ridiculous. Okay, this, okay, first of all, there's baby powder all over my face. If you touch the Q-tip to your eyelash and any of those fibers, from this Q-tip like that, get stuck in your eyelashes, you're gonna have a terrible, terrible, painful red eye later, I promise. Secondly, it got all up in my beautiful, fabulous mascara eyeliner, okay? And that is just not okay with me. I would say this is stupid as fuck. Uh, this, is, this is ridiculous. Well, I survived, but just hardly. I burned myself twice throughout this journey, and some of these were just downright stupid. I would love to hear in the comments below, did any of these that didn't work for me work for you, or do you have any new hacks that I should definitely know about? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you guys try any of these out, so tag me on any social media platform. If you do, Twitter, send me a Snapchat of you trying it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more awesome videos like this one. We will see you again on Saturday, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Love you.